Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So if you are someone who is preparing for CSR net exam, that is the next cycle of exam CSR June 2024 exam. In that case, I am going to share three important tips for the preparation of it. And these points, these tips I have included based upon the last exam. You must be aware about it that the last exam was a little bit unexpected. The cutoff was different. Uh, the exam paper was different so so many things were there so including like understanding and analyzing that particular exam i have bought three important tips for you for your preparation and because you have enough time now you can include these in your preparation okay so let's start with the first point that now you have to be more inclusive about the syllabus so earlier because chemistry consists of three sections organic inorganic and physical uh, many people they just study two of them let's say organic or inorganic and in physical and inorganic so they just make combination of two of the topics and they study it in detail and the third one they just either study or leave that part okay but now that's not going to happen or that's not going to you know help you have to include the third topic also like you cannot just go with organic inorganic or physical inorganic you have to include the third one let's say if you have covered organic and inorganic then you have to also include some topics from physical chemistry you cannot just ignore complete physical chemistry uh, and expect good marks in exam see all the three of them have equal weightage in exam so if let's say that paper is of uh, let's say it's of 200 marks of course 20 marks is for uh, the general aptitude so 180 marks if i say so every topic is of 60 marks 60 marks for organic 60 marks in organic 60 marks physical roughly this will be the weightage of all the three so you cannot just ignore 60 marks from the from the whole uh, like syllabus or from the whole exam weightage okay you should include some topics from there so if you are someone who is studying organic and inorganic chemistry try to include some topics of physical chemistry also uh, you can study some some easy topics from physical chemistry uh, for example you can include solid state chemistry you can include chemical kinetics because chemical kinetics is something you might have studied already in class 12th in bachelor's in masters so you can include that easily electrochemistry i know and i understand that some people have difficulty in solving questions from electrochemistry but it is very simple you can include that also then comes your surface chemistry you can also include uh, like equilibrium chapter so these are some easy chapters which can be easily included group theory if you if you are able to imagine molecule if you are able to visualize the molecule in 3d then you can think like simply include group theory also in your preparation so that's how you are going to include more topics from the syllabus and that is going to make you uh, like eligible to solve more number of questions in exam so when the exam will be there you will be able to attempt more questions not only from organic and inorganic but also some questions from physical chemistry which of course is going to help you to you know enhance your marks and this is going to be super useful for solving questions of part b so in part c you might be able to do 25 questions from organic and inorganic but in order to do 35 questions or 30 questions around in, in part b out of those 40 questions you have to include some topics of the third uh, like part of chemistry okay same goes for this that if you have studied or if you are preparing physical and inorganic chemistry you should not simply ignore organic chemistry you have to include some topics of organic chemistry i can understand that for someone who is not who is not practicing organic chemistry it's not easy to include uh, the complete organic chemistry but there are some easy topics from organic chemistry especially general organic chemistry it applies a lot of logics are there you can apply that to solve questions from general organic chemistry and of course goc is going to give you two or three questions in part b of the csnet exam then comes your um, pericyclic and photochemistry so you can like try to study that chapter also then you can study stereochemistry you can study aromaticity so all these topics are from organic chemistry which you can include in your preparation along with inorganic and physical and again it is going to help you to you know solve and attempt some more questions in part b and overall it is going to enhance your performance so this is very important to be more inclusive about topics when you are preparing for the next exam okay so that's the point number one the second point is a little bit i would say it's like something more towards the exam point of view like when you are sitting in the exam this point might help you over there not exactly in the preparation but yeah when you are preparing uh, whenever somebody prepares for exam he or she in the subconscious mind it, it they have 
uh, a target in their mind okay so they have a target that okay i have to score 110 marks or i have to score 80 marks 90 marks some target they have okay and everybody uh, like knows that what is the general cutoff which goes for a particular category and if some some student falls in that category this is there this we all agree upon i cannot deny on that and you also know that okay in the back of the mind you already have that okay if i will do this much marks of if i will attempt this much marks in exam I, it's good to go i will be able to uh, qualify the exam but this thing i have been telling students every time that you have to set your target a little bit more than what a general or a usual cutoff goes so if if you are from unreserved category and you think that 120 marks is a secure marks or it is a safe marks and that much is enough for you you should not think like that you should think around 150 if you will target 150 then after doing mistakes and then after your negative marking you are going to come near to 120 so you should always target a little higher compared to whatever the target is or whatever your um, general cutoff goes and again i am telling you last time the cutoff was pretty high it was not expected based upon the type of paper question paper which we have got we were not expecting this much high cutoff there were other reasons of course i have discussed about that and i will give you the video in the i button you can watch those videos but the thing is that uh, because now the cutoff of CSR net exam, especially I'm talking about CSR, it's not, uh, you cannot expect or you cannot predict it in that way. Okay. You cannot think that, okay, if the paper was a little bit tricky, the cutoff will go low. It can be possible that the cutoff will be even higher, even if the paper is easier. So in that case, you have to always in the exam, when you're sitting in the exam, you have to score a higher marks. And that again comes like, that again takes us to the uh, first point which I discussed that this will only be attained if you will include more topics okay then only you will be able to attempt the question paper of 150 plus or 160 plus so I think you are already aware about that the whole overall CSNET exam or the question paper is of 360 marks if you count the total marks of each and every section right because part A has 20 questions in total which is of two marks each, so 40 marks from part A. Part B has 40 questions, 80, uh, that means two marks each, so 80 marks from part B. And part C has 60 questions, so four marks each, so 240 marks. If you add them all, it becomes 360. But the thing is that you have to choose questions from each section, 15 from part A, 35 from part B, and 25 from part C to make the overall paper of 200 marks. But you can, like, because you have to you have 360 marks in the whole question paper so basically you can prepare yourself in a way that you can attempt 160 plus it's not difficult okay you have 360 marks question paper and you have to attempt 160 plus so that's how you have to think uh, don't think the paper is only of 200 marks of course that is what you have to choose but there are questions which are available and those questions are of 360 marks right I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So you have to attempt a little higher than what you are expecting as a safer score or as a safe score. Okay, you have to attempt a little higher than that. Of course, you cannot attempt more than 200 marks. But yeah, you should always try to think and you should always try to attempt a little higher than what you have said as a safe marks for you. All right. Now coming to the third and the most important point of this video that is related to general aptitude. General aptitude these years from the last two, three exams, I would say it's playing a very important role and it's getting a little bit trickier. It's not that easy. If you will see the question paper of 2017 CSR exam, you will find out that the general aptitude part was so easy. And if you see the last exam, the general aptitude was not that easy this time. So even CSR is understanding it that now people are able to do easy questions of general aptitude and they want to make it competitive that's why they are increasing the level of general aptitude uh, quotients and now you have to take that seriously because if you want to beat the competition if you want to get those extra marks the part a is has 15 questions 20 questions in total out of which 15 you have to do it is of 30 marks 30 marks is a huge number Com if you compare it for the exam or for the cutoff if let's say you have done chemistry of 90 marks if you include those 30 marks it becomes 120 you are now in the safer zone or you are now like you might cross the jrf cutoff 
so that is why part a is seriously important now and it is becoming competitive as well so you have to prepare yourself when you are preparing for the exam so if you are giving let's say every day two hours to chemistry give at least half an hour or 15 minutes to general aptitude that's all no you don't have to you know give one hour two hour to general aptitude daily start solving some questions some number of questions from general aptitude till the exam will be near you will find out that your general aptitude has become at least this much that you will be able to do 10 questions in the exam okay there are various websites there are various places where you are going to get questions from general aptitude even i'm working on a particular project where i'm trying to like i'm i'll be uh, like providing questions from general aptitude very soon okay for the csr net exam but that will take a little bit of time because you know uh, making questions setting up the question and all those things takes time but yeah i'll i'm doing i'm working upon that so these are three important tips three important points if you are preparing for csr net exam i'm again i'll just summarize it number one try to include more topics in your preparation so that you can attempt more number of questions in exam and then comes the second point that because you have to attempt more number of questions because you cannot expect or you cannot predict the cutoff that easily this like in the coming years so it's better to score a little higher so to be in a safer side and that can be done if you include a uh, general aptitude also in your in your questions in the number of questions which you have solved so if you take care of these three points i am quite sure that it becomes easy for you to qualify the exam and because you have enough time now and you have time for the like till the exam comes so i'm quite hopeful that if you follow these points you will be doing well in your exam okay so that's all from my side for this particular video do let me know in the comment section if you have any particular uh, point in mind which could be included in the video or if you want to discuss about anything you can let me know in the comment section below i am uh, that's all from my side for this particular video see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care